Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two squares, this uh, red square and this uh, black uh, square, fully inscribed uh, in a blue square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, red uh, square is 40 centimeter square, and the area of this uh, smallest uh, black square is uh, 10 centimeter square. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Just keep in mind that all of uh, these uh, boxes are square. And now let's focus on this uh, red uh, square and whose uh, area is 40. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. So therefore we can write uh, S square equals to 40. Let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our S value turns out to be the square root of 40 could be written as uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 10. So therefore uh, all these uh, side lengths uh, of this uh, red square turn out to be 2 times uh, square root of 10. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, smallest uh, black uh, square whose area is uh, 10. And now let's recall once again the area of a square formula area equal to s square. So therefore I can write uh, s square equals to 10. And now I am going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, smallest uh, square turns out to be square root of uh, 10. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, smallest black square turns out to be square root of 10 across the board. And now in this uh, next time I am going to label uh, these triangles. I am going to label this uh, smallest uh, triangle as our triangle number one, this one as our triangle number two, and finally this triangle as uh, number three. And now let's make an observation. The whole uh, this uh, side length of this uh, triangle uh, three is going to be two times the square root of 10 plus square root of 10. That is going to give us uh, three times square root of uh, 10. So therefore uh, this uh, largest uh, leg turns out to be 3 times square root of 10. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is our angle alpha. And we know that this is a 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And we know that this is our 90 degree angle since we are dealing with these uh, squares. And this angle is beta, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And we know this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And finally we know that this angle is 90 degrees, so therefore uh, this angle is going to be alpha. And we know this angle is 90 degrees, uh, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. So thus we conclude that all these uh, three triangles, uh, triangle 1, uh, triangle 2 and triangle 3 are our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this uh, smallest triangle uh, 1 uh, is uh, lowercase uh, a and this uh, other side length is uh, lowercase b. And we know for this uh, triangle 2, its hypotenuse is twice uh, the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle 1. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, A. And this uh, other side length of this triangle is 2 times uh, B. And finally, let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, 3. Its uh, longest leg, the hypotenuse is uh, 3 times square root of 10. So therefore, uh, this uh, leg is going to be 3 times uh, A and this uh, leg is going to be 3 times uh, B. 
And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, blue square A, B, C, D has all equal side lengths. Uh, that means uh, this side length uh, B, C is going to be equal to this side length uh, C, D as you can see in this uh, equation. And we know our side uh, B, C is the sum of uh, 3 A plus B. So I can write uh, 3 A plus uh, B is going to be equal to and the side length of CD is the sum of 2A and 3B. So I can write uh, 2A plus uh, 3 times B. And now I'm going to move this uh, 2A on the left hand side and B on the opposite uh, direction. As you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore uh, A turns out to be equal to 2 times B. So thus our A value turns out to be equal to 2 times B. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, 1 over here. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, smallest triangle. And here's our Pythagorean uh, theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is square root of 10 and our two legs are A and B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we know our uh, a value is uh, 2 times B. So therefore I can write uh, 2B whole uh, square plus uh, B square is equal to square root of uh, 10 whole square. Let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate B square. This 5 and 5 is gone. So therefore B square turns out to be equal to 2. Let me undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our B value turns out to be square root of uh, 2. So thus our B value turns out to be square root of 2 and we know A equals to 2 times B. So therefore, our A value is going to be equal to 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 2. So therefore, uh, our this uh, A value turns out to be 2 times square root of 2 and this uh, B value is square root of 2. And likewise, uh, this 3A equals to 6 uh, times square root of 2 since A equals to 2 times square root of 2. And likewise, uh, this other side length is uh, 3 times square root of 2 as well. And finally, this side length is going to be 4 times square root of 2 and this uh, side length is going to be 2 times square root of 2 as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big uh, blue square minus uh, the sum of all these uh, three triangle areas uh, 1, uh, 3 and 2 and minus uh, the area of these uh, two squares uh, 40 plus 10 makes uh, 50. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big blue square and also the area of uh, all these uh, three individual uh, triangles. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, big blue square A, B, C, D. And now we can see this side length uh, of this uh, blue square as 4 times square root of 2 plus uh, 3 times square root of 2 that is going to give us uh, 7 times uh, square root of 2. And now let's recall once again the area of a square formula area equal to S uh, square. In our case uh, our side length uh, S is 7 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore this uh, blue square area is going to be 7 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square. And if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 49 times 2 is going to give us uh, 98 uh, centimeter square. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, smallest triangle 1. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times base uh, times height. And in our case our base uh, is 2 times square root of 2 and the height is uh, square root of 2. So therefore the area of this uh, triangle 1 is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 2 and then times the uh, square root of 2 as well. 
and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, simply 2 so the area of this uh, triangle 1 turns out to be 2 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, 2 and we are going to use the very same uh, area of a triangle formula and in our case our base is 4 times square root of 2 and the height is uh, 2 times square root of 2 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle 2 is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that turns out to be 8 and finally we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, 3 and we are going to apply the very same uh, area of a triangle formula and here in our case our base of this triangle is 3 times square root of 2 and the height is uh, 6 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, 3 is going to be 1 divided by 2 times uh, 3 times square root of 2 times uh, 6 times uh, square root of uh, 2 and if we simplify the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 18 and if we add uh, all these uh, areas of this triangle uh, 2 plus 8 uh, plus 18 uh, that is going to give us uh, 28 and now let's recall uh, this equation once again the green uh, shaded area equals to the area of the blue square minus the sum of uh, these uh, triangle area and then minus uh, 50 this is the sum of these uh, two square areas 40 plus 10 makes uh, 50 and we know our blue square uh, area is 98 so I'm going to replace it uh, over here and we know our this uh, sum of these three triangle area is uh, 28 so I'm going to replace it uh, over here as well so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so 98 uh, minus uh, 28 uh, minus uh, 50 that is going to give us uh, 20 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 20 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye